afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Haven't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No. I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. One does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do, no, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Is somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. There's someone inside. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me? Good luck with that. Is anyone here? Hello? Thank you. 
that card. Fancy chair. So now, uh, the hell? Go! Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The bindings are there as a safeguard. No, 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 God damn it! Attention! Attention in the count of five.
love the prophet because he loves the sinner. I love the sinner because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin... Excuse me, where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Best keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. And every year, on this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the sodom beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the sodom beneath us but not accepted the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the three golden gifts of the founders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the prophet had only prayed for our deliverance and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just led us to the new Eden and not purged the vipers of the Orient, it would have been enough. Is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below? Newly come to Columbia to be watered clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord? I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Hey, I'm just looking to pass through. Praise be to the founders. Praise be to the Lord. Praise be to the Lord. Reach out, brother. Let's either this or turn around and get back on that rocket. Go on, brother. Reach out. Might as well get it over with. <laughs> hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. <laughs> I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Who's there? Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the debt! What do you want? We had a deal to it! Open this door right now! I told you! I'm not gonna do it! Go away! Mr. DeWitt! Mr. DeWitt! Priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. <laughs> <laughs> 
emotions. To Father Franklin, a key of gold so that Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. To Father Jefferson, a scroll. So that... Our prophet fills our lungs with water so they may better love the air. He who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels. Watch over me. A rebel against strength. ignorance and tyranny. Shield my mind. By the sword and, and, and the scroll, scroll and, and the key. key. Amen. Amen. There's no chance, no luck. Just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. Still got a girl to find. Yesterday, I had to take a gondola, rubbing elbows with all sorts. Morning. Good to see you. Perfect day for the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen and planned it just this way. I think it fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute you know, divinity. Psalm hmm? stalls all right, I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and father. Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh huh. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The, the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. And then the archangel showed a vision. A city, lighter than air. I asked her, why do you show this to me, archangel? I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I'm not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, Prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? Sorry, pal. You 
gotta wait like all the rest. Columbia, Raffle, and Fair. <laughs> He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key and the scroll, if you get my meaning. Cloud skies, Hello. warm temperatures, and light variable winds throughout the afternoon. In short, uh, on your system, day eh? For the festivities, Here you go. Columbia. And now, back to the music. One man goes into the waters of baptism, a different man comes out, born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint, until he is revealed unto the eyes of man. Said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Lutess. What the? A good day to you, sir. Hello. I agree. Now, would you, you keep saying me? that. If I told you a man to hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well... Those are biggers I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremy. Gonna let me through here, pal? Hey, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Peking to kingdom come. Again. Roadblock. Better find another way around. 
You know our prophet is kind, and he has asked personally, as Mr. Jeremiah Fink, to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir, no ma'am. Those are biggers I'm talking about. All of them feeling blue. To you, courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself, who amongst you has tasted the pie. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. I'll give it a shot. the devil, good sir, and cast it. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Bucking Bronco is your answer! Look at this! Those dirty box are at it again! See them villains zipping around, spreading their lies and dissent? Fear not! I got just secure! Grab a shotgun and go to work! Good man! Now take aim and blast those evil box out of the sky. Hit enough and I'll get you a prize. <laughs> Hot dogs, Alexander Box of Hot Dogs, Box of Hope. Hear your voice from the past in the present. Say something, Sonny. What's a voxophone? What's a voxophone? Exactly that. A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir.
Fitzroy and the vile members of the Vox Populi. Shoot the targets, earn the points, win the prize. Well, here's a brave fellow. Now, shoot the box when they appear, get it up, and you'll win a prize. I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. Defeated, Daisy Fitzroy slain, you sir shall be richly rewarded. Let me through. Heads. Or tails. Heads. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. Looks just fine to me. Mary, you are a living, walking scandal. My role model? My Lady Comstock, of course. This little beauty? Ah, the whole division got them. If we're gonna flush the box out of the Skyline system, we gotta have the best. Uh -huh. They got any openings in the group?
Madame Lutece. I have read all your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you are allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. What the... F never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Columbia? <laughs> all right, then. The winner is number 77! Oh, what do you know? Number 77, come and claim your prize! First throw! Please don't do this! It was me! It was all me! Please! 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 What are you doing? Come on! Are you gonna throw it? Or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> Oh, looks like we've got a shy one here. <laughs> we've got to do something about that. We got something for you, son of a Time bitch. To wait! <laughs> it's him! <laughs> now, where'd you get that brand, boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? The false shepherd! And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! you Comstock. You sell them paradise and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> 
Well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls. Possession now turns machine and man into allies. Hold and release to create a ghostly trap. Rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose.
getting hot. What's going on? No sample. Why are you following me? We were all 
only here. Why are you following us? I'm... Aperitif. between life and death. Surprising. Surprising that it worked? Surprising that it didn't kill him. But a magnetic repulsive field around one's body can come in handy. If it doesn't kill you. A fair point. Father Comstock called on me today to write his biograph. Me. The man pays for exactly 100 pages in advance. Now, I'm half a Jew when I smell silver, so I say, I say, Father, your flock would pay for a thousand. You know, why settle for less? And then the prophet looks to me and says, 100 will suffice, as I know how it ends. Hook must be magnetized.
Otis works up at the lodge part-time. He took this box from one of their secret ceremonies. And I know for sure, there is something dear inside. Problem is, Otis is more fool than not. He didn't bother to also secure a key from the Feathered Brothers to open the damn thing. Negroes to do. How they treat them. It was bound to happen. Violence is not a foregone conclusion. Ah! Oh! Tim, the one they're after. Go. They're looking for you. Police, we're in need of your assistance. They're here! Shh. Keep your voice down.
Rachel Columbia gave onto the founders the tools to build a new Eden, they did so without hesitation. For 85 years, they prepared the way of the Lord. But when the great apostate came, he brought war with him, and the fields of Eden were soaked with the blood of brothers. The only emancipation he had to offer was death.
believed now by many to be Vox Populi, began his terrible rampage. Trouble began almost instantly. Full of wrath and bent on harm, the anarchist maliciously wounded several Colombian peacemakers, before then arming himself and firing into an assemblage of virtuous fair-goers. As of this hour, he is considered wholly responsible for causing at least eight God-fearing Colombians to meet their maker in heaven. He is considered brimming with danger and evil intent, and we implore you not to tempt ruination by facing him without aid of Colombia's...
Shepard, this anarchist, is either a mulatto dwarf or a French man with a missing left arm. Glad I can get the Monument Island from that station. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hoppers came riding in on back of the lottery. Whoa! I see him! And the Lord saw the wickedness of man was great, and he repented he had made man on the earth. Rain! Forty days and forty nights of the stuff, and he left not a thing that walked alive. You see, my friends, even God is entitled to a do-over. And what is Columbia if not another ark for another time? Skyline up above. Somehow I get some elevation, I could probably reach it.
Down. He crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and the wings of angels. Watch over me and lend me strength. Father Washington. I know why you have come, false shepherd. I see every sin that blackens your soul. Wounded knee. The Pinkertons, the drink, the gambler, and of course, Anna. And now, to repay a debt, you've come from my land. But not all debts can be repaid, Booker. You don't know me, pal. Prophecy is my business, Mr. DeWitt. As blood as yours. Do you know why these men will die for me? Because I have seen their future in the glory. And hence they are content. What brought you to Columbia, Booker? Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt? This will end in blood, Wade. Then again, it always does with you, doesn't it? It always ends in blood, Wade. <laughs> To lead my lamb astray, but thy crook is bent and thy path is twisted. twisted. Go back to the Sodom from which you came. Go back. Oh shit. to take this thing to Monument Island. this place. I guess even in a restricted area, these crackers need someone to clean the floors. <laughs> Those politicians and scientists don't bother about what they say around me because I'm some half-leaded colored boy. But 
I can tell they scared out of their wits by that thing they got locked upstairs. Yes, sir. They got to talk about the tail, and they don't know whether to hang on or run. What's this? Mr. Thompson, sir, I, I replaced the entire fuse banker's ass, and the lights were all in working order last night. Last night? There they go again. We go through boxes of fuses every day as of late, and they're just in the siphon alone. I don't... Oh! oh something's happening! What? Oh, ah! It is one thing to imagine one's future and another to see it. I have seen the seeds of fire that will prepare the Sodom below for the coming of the Lord. But Elizabeth shall sow those seeds, not I. I will fall before the job is done. But she shall take up my mantle. The Lord is calling me home. I feel his love in every tumor because they are the train which takes me to his station. And I go with joy knowing that Elizabeth will take my earthly place. But the false shepherd is coming to lead my lamb astray. I will not board that train until mom. she is... That's where we need to go.
this job's getting worse all the time. What makes the girl different? I suspect it has less to do with what she is, and rather more with what she is not. A small part of her remains from where she came. It would seem the universe does not like its peas mixed with its porridge. My name is DeWitt. I'm a friend. I come to get you out get of here. Get away! Are you real? I'm real enough. He's coming. You, you've got to go. Why? You don't want to be here when he gets here. Just a minute, I'm getting dressed. Get you out of here. There's no way out. Trust me, I've looked. Stop it, you're, you're too impatient. That's enough. What about this? What about it? This is the way out, isn't it? What are you... Give it to me. See about that. Who are you? Why did you come here? This way, come on. Why did they put me in here? What am I? What am I? You're the girl who's getting out of this tower. Elizabeth. How do you know my name? Not now. <gasps> There's a door up here. <sighs> Out of the way, let me try. Which way? Oh!
of the living. Here, let me. I'll be fine. You almost drowned. You need to... I said I'm fine. Just... Just, just give me a minute. Do you hear that? Oh, it's music. Yeah, go on. I just... Oh, see that. Okay, I, I won't be long. I won't be long, Mr. DeWitt. may know how his own biography is going to end, but I can scarcely fathom how I'm going to start it. I mean, other than the kid stuff you get at the Hall of Heroes, anything prior to his baptism was, and here I quote, hang on, left on the riverside. They'll call me a plagiarist, but I'm going to spend the first 30 pages hey, regurgitating... I'm looking for a young girl. Things rigged. All I want is fair pay for an honest day's work. A lot. I think there is. Maybe you and I should go for a walk along the shore. I'm not going on any walk with you. <laughs> Your reputation is well established. Look at him, ladies. It's a crime someone doesn't get him a nice set of trunks. <laughs> well, he's your brother. Look at him. He's got the brains yes. of a child. You know. To the left. All right, now. Run. You're strong, strong. Pretend you're Hercules. Right. That's great. All right, miss. Now, no panhandling, fellow. Didn't you say? That's what 
the Vox Populi. <sighs> this is the Hey, miss it. Miss. Could you just... Hey, miss. Miss Elizabeth. Hello. Oh, this is wonderful. Well, come dance with me, Mr. Dwayne. I don't dance. Come on, let's go. Why? What could be better than this? How about Paris? Paris? How... I don't understand. How could we get there? That's where that airship's going, but if you want to stay and dance, we can... No, let's go! Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go right now! I'm out. It's hard to believe, but it's true, isn't it? Oh, can you smell that? I've never smelled anything like that before, have you? Beaches I know don't smell much like that. One, two, three, two! Mr. Duet, Comstock. I've read about him. They say he can see the future. Give a man a little power. He falls in all kinds of love with himself. I don't like his look. Do you dislike the look of the prophet? Or his gaze? Can we leave now? Aren't we the well-to-do types? into the water did you no favors. I'll keep an eye out for something that might ease your pain. Mr. DeWitt, here! Bird. Or the cage. Or perhaps the bird. Nothing beats the cage. He's to it. How do you... Never mind. Look at these, they're amazing. Which one do you like more, this one or, or this? The bird is beautiful and the cage is somber, but there's really something special about it. I just can't decide. <sighs> the one on the right. Are you sure? I'm sure. I love it. Surprising. I expected the cage. If you're going to be a sore loser, then I shan't do this again. Now that's just sophistry. Oh my god! My god! It has to be. Look! Are you all right? It was my home. We should get out of here. Let's go. He's the sword of vengeance. What I want to know is, why is there never... Make sure you have a piece of photographic identification ready for presentation. Put those arms up now. Fingers apart. Legs apart. Stand still. Look at this one. Now hey, hold hey, steady. Look at this one. He's suspicious, if you ask me. All right, all right. Quiet ah, damn thing's locked. Go home and dry yourself out. What are you doing? You're a roguish type. What does it look like? Done. Where did you learn to pick locks? Trapped in a tower with nothing but books and spare time? <laughs> you would be surprised what I know how to do. I must take any task with more than this. Oh, uh, hello, sir. Don't you pay me no never mind? Just some foolishness, you know. <laughs> Just monkey shines. I guarantee. Hey, I found these silver eagles. There's a venue for us over there. There might be something to bring you back to hell. It's probably a good idea. Your 
housekeeper acting suspicious? Try asking the girl a few key questions. Such as, don't you think those Vox Populi folk have a valid complaint against the Prophet? And, I'm sure some of your friends have attended meetings. I'm sure Look over here! All about. Now, back to the music. When I first seen Columbia, that sky was the brightest, bluest sky that ever was. <laughs> Seemed like heaven. Then your eyes adjusted to the light, and you saw that sea of white faces looking hard back at you. Hey, hey mister, we'd like to help you. This ain't no place for you, sir. You best be on your way, or there's gonna be trouble for us both. Do I know you? Back at the lottery, you... Without you, we wouldn't have gotten away. Daisy always said somebody like you would come along. More money. Here you go. Got it. for me to follow you in there. As a boy, I had a dog named Bill. Like all dogs, Bill was a loyal friend. Are you trying to get us both arrested? Bill would have been loyal. If we had struck him, Bill would have been loyal. Only when the colored man can make that claim will he take his place in society. Take a photograph with the father of our country. Chop down the cherry. Annabelle? Excuse me? Annabelle, it's me, Esther. Oh, no, I'm not Annabelle. Are you sure? My name is Elizabeth. Do I know you? Elizabeth? Isn't that a lovely name? <laughs> that was odd. Last customer. Park's closing. Park's closing, everyone. Yeah, these shoes sure could benefit from a shine. Guess I haven't paid much attention. Excuse hey, me. Watch out. I just swapped that. Um, have you got sauerkraut? Sauerkraut? Uh, I guess so. I'll take, um, one, please. <coughs> um, one silver eagle. All right. I don't know. Two tickets for passage to the First Lady airship. Yeah, just a minute, friend. Yeah, I have it. How do you uh, want to proceed? In a bit of a rush, pal. Hey, Mister, you're gonna get my mm -hmm. over your nice suit. I got it. I'll ring you back once the matter's in hand. I don't like this. Yeah, send in the bird. 
We're ready to execute. Stay where you are! Move in! What are you doing? Get the girl! Don't Get off Run of him me! Ah. 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 Elizabeth! Uh, stay away from me! Don't make me do this! No matter. No! Fire! Ah! As the months and years turned to memories, so did the men of Congress turn to righteousness. And through the technology of men, the dollars of Washington, the Lord worked his will upon Columbia and raised her high above the Sodom below. Just stay where you are! Away from hey, me. Hey, come back here! Kill those people. I can't believe you did that. They're all dead. You killed those people. Elizabeth. You're a monster. What did you think was going to happen? Do you understand the expense the people went through to keep you locked up in that tower? You think people like that are just gonna let you walk away? You are an investment, and you will not be safe until you are far away from here. What, what do they want from me? I don't know. One thing I've learned, if you don't draw first, you don't get to draw at all. You're bleeding. Come here. What happened back there? Uh, it's not the last of it, is it? I don't know. There. I suppose I best get used to it. I've read a thing or two about medicine. 
do my best to keep you supplied with remedies. If your wounds are deeper, I'll try to keep you on this side of the abyss. Want to hold on to this? Here. Take a look at this. Sure thing. Ready. Elizabeth? Give me a second. All yours. Days at Comstock House was simple. Hard work, sure, but simple. Ringing the linen, scrubbing the floors. <laughs> Lady Comstock, she even had a kind word now and then. Almost enough to make me think I had a place in their world. <laughs> God made foolish girls so he could have something to play with. Soldier's Field, built in 1903 by the hand of our prophet. What interest is a prophet having a bunch of carnies and carousels? The place is themed to acquaint children with <laughs> child and the way he should go even when he is old he will not depart from it. Oh, did you write that? No. Are we gonna get to the airship? Let me see if I can get that gate open by hand. Shock jockey. Who needs the power company? Some fool's alternative to electricity. Doesn't seem to work very well. First lady. Looks like it's heading for the dock. And that will take us to Paris. Just stay close. Yes, Mr. Duet. Call me Booker. Oh, uh, all right. Booker. Should we head to the gondola or take a look around the boardwalk? I suppose a place like this might have much we'd find useful. Our ice cold Colombian ice cream is a culinary marvel. Try it yourself! And when I came to Washington, there were few in Congress who saw my vision for Columbia. But it is the burden of the prophet to bring the wicked to righteousness. For what am I, if not a mirror to reflect the face of God? Do 
Do you know why you were hired to come and get me? I imagine they were interested in meeting you. No doubt for lockpicking lessons. Why you? I never even heard of this place before I got here. I assumed Columbia was common knowledge below. Guess I got a bit behind with current events. I dreamt of standing in a room looking at a girl who was and was not myself, who stood looking at another girl who also was and was not myself. My mother took this for a nightmare. I saw it as the beginning of a career in physics. What are you, Mr. DeWitt? Some sort of... I'm a, uh, independent contractor. Used to work for the Pinkertons and such. That's something you'd want gracing a resume. Pinkertons? Weren't they the ones they'd call in to settle things when the workers took to striking? Settle? Well, that's a word for it. Imagining you on a carousel. Hello. We need to summon the gondola if we intend to reach that airship. We seem to be in the controls of summer. This runs exclusively on shock jock. Of course it does. Where in the hell are we gonna find that? Look! Come see the future of power at the Hall of Heroes. Huh. Well, that's convenient. When I was a girl, I dreamt of standing in a room looking at a girl who was and was not myself. Who stood looking at another girl who also was and was not myself. My mother took this for a nightmare. I saw it as the beginning of a career in physics. wrong? Oh, nothing I can't fix. <gasps> oh, it's a bee. I, I hate these things. Oh, geez, just kill it. No, it'll sting me. Elizabeth. I have a better idea. <laughs> Wait, what, what are you doing? Opening air. Oh, shit. What is that? It's a tear. I used to open them all the time in my tower. What is a tear? It's like a, a... a window. A window to another world. Most of the time they're dull as dishwater, a different colored towel or tea instead of coffee. But sometimes... sometimes I see something amazing and I pull it through. There. Good God. I don't suppose you've got an airship in there? I don't think so. But there is... There... There is something. I... Oh, oh no! Close it. I, I'm trying! Close it! I don't really understand what I just saw back there. But it sure as hell looks like a shortcut to getting us killed. But I could help. I can handle whatever comes along. Trust me. 
Have it your way, I suppose. To the sky, Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy an Eden floating in the mist by man forsworn, by heaven kissed. It's locked. Really? That little old lock. All done. They're here!
second thought. I think those tears of yours might come in handy next time we're in a scrape. Well, there has to be a tear for me to use. I can't just pull them out of thin air. guns hidden in the fellow traveler. Didn't find them, but funny thing, we found some old uniforms under the floorboards from the war. <laughs> Took guesses as to why they were there, but <laughs> who's there? You're Slate, right? Sir, put the guns down! <laughs> Did you hear that, Comstock? Look, a cipher. A secret message from the Vox Populi. Well, you're the junior codebreaker. What's it say? Don't know. There should be a codebook somewhere. Me a liar. You know, honey, I just love you. I don't call that love and keep me out here in the dark. I'm the same. You better embrace these golden opportunities. For damn it, they will do me very soon. Who's that? Slate? I actually know the fella. Seems he's still got a knack for making enemies. Found something. It's the code book, all right. Hey. Looks simple enough. Tip the hat to the Vox. Well, there must be more to this place than meets the eye. God makes all kinds of soldiers, but he only made one Cornelius Slate. My father followed him up San Juan Hill, through the legations in Peking, and as he put it, through hell the order was given. At today's muster, Slate asked me if I was Sergeant Monroe's daughter. I said, yes sir, I am. Slate said, your father always wanted a son. I hope the fool has wisdom enough to recognize it. gondola his... access to the Hall of Heroes. This is going to be fantastic. Think that keen eye of yours can find some ammunition lying around? I sure could use it when there's trouble. It'll take some scrounging, but I'll do my best.
for Colombia. Lost limb and viscera in the godless Orient. Comstock did nothing. And yet, look up. Whose image squats above you even now? At every angle and insult. If the prophet would make a painted whore of our past, what fresh rape does our future hold? Let us now make our stand and fill yonder hole with true heroes. Looks like we found where your old friend Slade is. Just find that shot, Jack. Can get the hell out. Perfect timing. Amongst our noble dead, you, but when our soldiers... You were there. That wounded knee. I can see it in your face. Tell her, Booker! Tell her how we strode that battlefield like the heroes of Sparta! I still hear the screams. Let's come, stop. Who wants to live? Here's the soldier I spoke of! The kind of man Comstock pretends to be! See if I told you true! Ammo! Catch! 
Perfect timing. Try to keep you soft. Just give me what I need. I will. After you do the same for me. Come and look for me amongst the boxers. Who are the boxers? The Chinese. He means us to head to the other display. Can you hear Comstock's tin soldiers coming to silence us? But we are the true patriots. The history that does not fit in their books. Boxer Rebellion. What happened there? In Peking, it was my hand that put the city to the torch. Of course, that's not how Comstock tells it. Yellow skin and slanted eyes that did betray us with their lies until they crossed the right. Oh, I read about this. Comstock led the Colombian troops. Comstock wasn't there! The boxers took my eye and 30 of my friends! Is there even a stone to mark that sacrifice? Ask for this. I have no quarrel with these men. Heroes never ask. I never claim to be no hero. And what are you? If you take away all the parts of Booker DeWitt you try to erase, what's left? Come back to the rotunda. It's almost over. What did Slate mean? Why did you try to erase? Now that you're out of yours, you might realize cages have their advantages. A choice is better than none, Mr. Dwight. No matter what the outcome. Yeah. What if you woke up one day and realized you didn't like what you chose?
think he can stop me? I've got what you need, Booker. You will find me past the First Lady's memorial. Our Lady, but for a single week. Comstock had a child. My books never mention anything about a child. That's quite an omission. I can't imagine that was by accident. But the child took ill, and Our Lady prayed for the Prophet's heir day and night. not have the child. She shall not come betwixt her and prophecy. The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. You're Comstock's daughter. No, I can't be. I, I can't. He wants you to follow his footsteps. Well, I want a puppy, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna get one. It's locked. who loved me, I was the most generous of souls. There was no pain I would deny them, no betrayal I would not gladly give. And when I had scorched the hearts of all who loved me, the prophet said, there is nothing you can do for which I will not forgive you, for God has granted me sight, and through his eyes, even you are loved. I can get through these bars, but you're too broad. Let me scout ahead, see if there's some way to move forward. Is that? It's a tear. Something I can bring into this world. It's a freight hook. Well, that's convenient. As I said, it's a form of wish fulfillment. Go ahead. Done! I feel there's more where that came from. Whenever I'd get anxious, tears have a way of appearing. Booker, do you see those tears? We can use them against Slate's men. That tear will get us access to higher ground. That one will give us a turret. And some cover. Try that one! Turret, now! Now! Cash! Take this!
enough, Slate. We just need the Vigor to get out of Columbia. We're taking it one way or another. Slate! Shock jockey bigger. To the sky, Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy. Too rare is the man who takes a stab in you and saw thy sweetest fatherland. Was here the place where we revered with the heroes of our city. King Midbooker. That's what Comstock will turn us into. Wires and gears to replace heads and hearts. Crack this one open. On it. There. I found some money. Want it? The whole place is ransacked. There's no shock jockey here. Slight must have taken them. won't satisfy him. Oh, no. He won't rest until he's turned us into tin. I won't let him. He took my past. But that's all he's getting from me. Just give us the vigor. We don't need to do this. Here you go, boys. A soldier's death awaits.
it I remember. Tin Man! Tin Man! on your plate! Finish it! You're a Tin Man now! A Tin Man! Dog's man will surely take him. Do you ever get used to it? I'll kill him. That's what you can imagine.
can to keep you stocked in salts. Thanks. What Slate said bothered you. He showed me. Sometimes you have to do what's necessary to survive. There's survival, and then there's finding pleasure in the act. Booker. Look, you seem like a decent enough sort. That said, the less you know about me, the better.
Much obliged. <laughs> Mr. DeWitt, the name's Booker. I'll be certain to attend to that distinction. Booker. And there's a moment when we're not being shot at. If you're interested, I spotted some supplies over there. For the glory of Columbia! I understand how you tears. I always thought of them as doors. When I was younger, I didn't just open the ones I found. I remember making them. Making them? Whatever I wanted. I just wanted to come back. To what? How do you do that? Whatever it is. You know how I said I had plenty of time to write? Well, I tried to figure it out. I read literature on physics and other such things. Yeah? And what did that teach you? That there's a world of difference between what we see and what is. Booker DeWitt is coming here to the hall. DeWitt. We called him the white engine of Wounded Knee for all the grisly trophies he claimed. Such as he might just grant us the peace we seek. The gondola's coming. <laughs> My sweet Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Once he has what he needs, he will leave you alone. What else could you expect from a liar, a killer of women? Comstock. Oh, sweet child. That's where he is.
thanks. Sure thing. Here you go. When you were unconscious on the beach, you kept repeating a woman's name. Anna. I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. DeWitt? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. Something that really caters writing on a resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. <laughs> How do you think I ended up here? I gambled, and now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you. like they call you the false shepherd. And you the lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me.
nice. You all right? I want to see Paris. I want to see everything. It's up to you now. There's no one. Wait, what is that? 40 north by 74 west. That's not Paris, that's New York. How did you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can- <laughs> Shepherd, we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Because it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is which side you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the Vox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join I just the Vox. Want my ship. And the Vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the Vox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith who can supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him. And you shall have your ship back. Find Elizabeth before she lights out. The most common complaint I hear from the working man is that they are unhappy with their lot. Why torment yourself, I ask? The ox cannot become a lion, and why would you want to? Who wants all those responsibilities and worry? You do your job, eat your food, you go to sleep. Simplicity is beauty. <laughs>
Just want to talk to you! I said stay away! Ugh. Elizabeth! Just stay hold up for a minute! Stay I'm not away. angry with you! Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Don't go in there! I have no need of one such as you! No, no, no! No! Let me go! We got her! There's gotta be another way.
going on? No. My patience is done run out!
slipping. Do not attempt to follow me, Mr. Twig. <sighs> Elizabeth, I've made an arrangement to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes. I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton should be a walk in the park. What do you say, partners? <sighs> You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. Not happy with your pay? Don't get too comfortable with my company, no Mr. DeWitt. You are a means to an end. No more. Surratt would take no money for his art. Why, George Washington would only accept the presidency if he were paid a single dollar a year. So, don't let money come between you and your craft. It's locked. Looks easy enough. Ready. Be your gunsmith. Who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. The truth is, I don't have a lot of time for all that prophecy nonsense. I tell you, belief is, is just a commodity. And old Comstock, well, he does produce. Welcome but like to any industries resentment. To buy we are not product for the earthly wars. You see, one does not raise a barn. How are we going to get into Finkton? Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Timber, a Fink hammer, and Fink's hand to swing it. <laughs> he needs me. Lest he soil his own. But I was led to understand that there was work here. All my forms are in order. Be that as it may, we are at quota. But, but I spent all I had left on the jitney from Baxton Town, sir. Well, we're taking all the Class C hirelings we intend to take on at present. Can you open this? Done. Over there, a service elevator. We should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. Ah! We hold these Found truths salt. to be safe. Here we go!
hold on to this. Okay, catch. Me out with Gunsmith this lock. Chen Lin, wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn there attention. There you go. It's not good, is it? No. It's Slate's locker. He must have worked here. Uh, this is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. I hold in my hand the private journal of Comstock's wife. It puts the lie to this miracle child nonsense. She loved the child not. It seems the sainted lady would have preferred to let the seed of the prophet just dry out on the bed sheets. Greetings. My name is Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee. Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee. Be the bee. Uh, hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes. Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt? Think here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Well, the man's got an ego. You see, the Fink Company store brings you Fink products at a price 
designed specifically for the fake worker. Mr. DeWitt, welcome to Finkton. You'll find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Doesn't strike me as good news. Fink Manufacturing to Shantytown. What do you think? Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by that clock shop? that they are unhappy with their lot. Why torment yourself, I ask? The ox cannot become a lion. And why would you want to? Who wants all those responsibilities and glory? You do your job. Here it is, Booker. Chen Lin, gunsmith. I have a pressing need to speak to this so-called false shepherd, stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. Scott Mabuda. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Someone downstairs. Excuse me. Now I'm sorry to bother you. We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He. Gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Meilin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Fox fully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Let's figure out where this good time club is. Push 
Here, ammo! Catch! That'll do. much care for you, Mr. Twin. I must admit, you know your way around the brawl. You hear that? Music. It's coming from that tear. I never heard that song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. I'm sorry about what I said in the docks. I'm calling it with that. Yeah. Can't see how I might have changed the sense of that. There it is, Mr. Joy. Now we just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin. Then just call me Booker. Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Do it. AK. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost the no! with them. <laughs> Yet.
true rival is an expert with the automata. Wants to replace all our security with machines. I'll give the old boy credit, though. It would be fewer mouths to feed. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. There you go. The Lord judges. I take this ammo. Those are cats. Thanks. <laughs> interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But... Not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the path for me as well. Cell number nine. Hmm. Can you unlock this? No problem. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? And I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. 
Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Done. Who's there? Hey, Mr. DeWitt. Any idea what it deciphers? No. Keep an eye out. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. We know you can hear us. You want to say something? Mm. Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. No privies down here. I treat them like animals. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races. Is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red. Is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water? He looks... You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. The schoolhouse of the Lord. This seems right up your alley. Really? That little old lock. That could people have done to deserve to be locked up. Fate don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. Elizabeth, a little help? Oh, this won't take long at all. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. Got it. Do it? You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling. But I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it. Not hyenas. Strange. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? Where the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. This is becoming rather awkward. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia. <sighs> it's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. We go into the stair. I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? I can open that right okay. now. Open it. Look. There's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed.
me about Daisy cutting loose. What? Scornfield says cut him loose. Then bring his tools to the lockup. Uh, keep him clean, I guess. Why? What are you? The Columbia Gazette? The chink's wife got friends in high places. Come on. We need to settle. I don't understand how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. These men. I killed them. They were dead. Uh, uh, Not in this world. Disgusting. Look their noses. They're, they're all bleeding. What's wrong with them? They remember. Remember what? Being dead. This makes my head hurt. Perfect timing. Look. Looks like Fink isn't giving you the job. Got a lock here. I'll give it a whirl. All yours. This is what the code key's for. The broken clock tolls at midnight. This looks like the one. Set to midnight. Lobby. I came to Columbia because I believed in God and because I believed in honor. But Slade has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man, and there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service.
Can you get this open? I've never even seen a lock like this. Anti-pressure device, a spring-loaded wiper, a relocker? You'd need a battering ram to open it. Do you hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines are very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines! Very dangerous! No place for stupid people! Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. Oh, my husband? How would you reconcile that? Calm oh, his no. troubled thoughts. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little <clears throat> Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... <laughs> If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. She... Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Did you notice? The man had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. His terror. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. Now, if somebody comes along and tells you that you're getting the short end of the stick, do you know what they're really saying? <laughs> they're saying, friend. mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. Go ahead. All right!
closer to it. You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. It must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to pay. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down, brothers. But Daisy Fitzroy says there's another way. Another way coming real soon. These people are like this because of Fink. Maybe Daisy's right. Back Maybe she off. should pay him back for all of this. Not before. She pays us. We're here for guns oh, and the Hold him there! No. making a goddamn dent. I'm hungry, Bill. Go ahead. All right. Food! Out of my way! Once or twice. Oh, don't give a damn if we live or die. I don't understand. Some people are treated like men. There's like animals. There's plenty of places down below where you'll find more of the same. Like a wounded knee. Yeah, like a wounded knee. Booker, there's the impound. We're gonna have to get through an army to get those tools. That the gunnery is trespasser! Ah!
Thanks. That's all I have. Can you help me out with this lock? Looks simple enough. Ready. the job and there's life. They pay me to hate the goddamn Vox and I take their money, but what's the harm of having a drink with Fitzroy's people? Face to face at the graveyard shift while they're, they're just folk. Well, I guess I fell into the goddamn bottle because I stumbled back without the evidence locker key. If Schmidt finds out... Well, there'll be hell to pay.
Keep a lookout. It's done. Feel better already. They are the tools. Now we just have to get them back to the Vox, and then we get our airship. It's locked. Come on, give me something challenging. Got it. Who are we really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi? It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. Well, we sure as hell aren't gonna be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we didn't think this all the way through. More money. Okay, catch. What is that? It looks like a tear. It's a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. Well, if the tools aren't in there, then... Then they must be back, back at the, at the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this Terra, I don't think there's any turning back. Are you sure you want to go now? Let's head back to the gunsmith and finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship, well shut of this place for you. Booker, if the Vox get their weapons, there's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are gonna have better lives. Yeah. You ever see a force at the beginning of a fire? For the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears with their bellies full of honey, well, you can't hardly wake them up from their comfortable hibernation. We're going to Emporium, and then we gonna see what it takes to rouse them from their slumber. Can you feel it? Daisy's moved these people. Things can change, Booker, and we can be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place. Poster. In this world, you're a hero. I remember I led the Vox. S Slate and I burned down the Hall of Heroes. Booker. Your nose. Hard to think of. Just two memories in the same Booker, place. Booker, come back to me. 
We're going to find Daisy Fox. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, to wait! Stand for this day! It was evil for the one voice of the people. Now is the time to stand true to his call. Now is the time to wait to Say cheese! Cheese! Samuel, when the spells of anger come, I want you to play this recording and remember that I am the proudest woman in Colombia to have been your wife. They said your soul was choked by the fumes in that metal box, but this I do not believe. And we shall meet again on that eternal shore. Both of us whole and smiling. I love you. I love you. a man looking at you. I love Your children and sin a beast meant to be. Who's over? Someone capable of rational thought. Not someone with their own dreams and aspirations. Not someone trying to make sure their kids have it better than they did. Monument Island's a damn ghost town. It seems like they evacuated her when they heard I was here. To be told when to eat, when to sleep, when to stand. Comstock spirited her off to that fortress of his. As a one-man job, this just went from betting on the river to drawing dead. Hi there. A guitar. Wish I knew how to play. A circle be unbroken by and by, by and by, is a better home awaiting in the sky, in the sky. When you force deep underground, well, you see things from the bottom up. And down at the bottom of the city, I saw a fire burning. The fire's got heat of plenty, but it ain't got no mouth. Daisy. Now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in Columbia. a hero. When it comes down to it, the only difference between Comstock and Fitzroy is how you spell the name. Delivering a tornado blow. Hold and release to build up a more devastating tornado blow.
I don't know if I brought us to a world where the Vox had weapons. factory and get our airship. This isn't our responsibility, none of it. You just opened a door to this world and we stepped through. Are you sure, Booker? Did I just bring us to a world where Chenlin was alive, or, or did I create it? I told you I always thought that my little trick was a form of wish fulfillment. I got my wish. Looks like I got a friend in town after all. Slate. He's fell in with these Vox Populi. And for irregulars, I will say, they are loaded for bear. The problem is, I gotta help them with their damn revolution first. Then we take Comstock House by storm. I do that, I get the girl. Here, ammo. Oh, great! Open it! On it! Get that door open unless someone takes that airship out. Appreciate it. That's all I have. Don't be sorry. Need to 
Sabotage the engine and bring this thing down. Okay, now to get off this thing. Daisy in the factory. There's some cash. Cash. Daisy said she was coming here for Fink. We need to take that elevator up. That at least to Fink's office. Just right for each other, aren't they? Who? It's Roy and Comstock. May Lynn? Mr. Lynn? My God, I... I was so set on getting to Paris, I, I didn't really think that... You couldn't have known this would happen. I had a role in this catastrophe. If, if you want to pretend that we're purely innocents in this, then that's your prerogative, but... Um, uh, hello? Fink? I saw you die, Booker. Saw it with my own eyes. If that's right. Listen, I got you your guns. I'm here for my airship. But my Booker DeWitt died for the Vox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My Booker DeWitt was a hero to the cause, a story to tell your children. You, you just complicate the narrative.
Elizabeth. A little help? Let me see. All done. timing.
child. Booker, we have to do something. We have to act. We have to get in there. Come on, Booker, we've got to get out of here. Boost me up. Go to the window and distract Daisy. Go! Is this it? Is this your movement, Daisy? This is what needs to be done. You see, the founders ain't nothing but weeds. Cut them down and they just grow back. If you want to get rid of the weed, you've got to pull it up from the root. It's the only way to get rid of Elizabeth. I guess it runs in the family. Elizabeth. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, easy. You should talk to me. Look, I've been there. This is all I had. Listen. How do you do it? How do I do what? Forget. How do you wash away the things that you've done? You don't. You just learn to live with it. So the moment of truth between us. New York or Paris? Find a way to make this thing go faster. There's got to be some sort of throttle or accelerator. Do you know what that looks like? I don't know. Help me find it. <gasps> Hold on. Here you are. <laughs> Booker! That's the E. No, that is certainly it. No, it's not. It is. If they play it the whole is. song, he'll it's come back. Is. Try again. No, you try. Here. Fine. Is. Is. Stop it! Is. Is. Pay attention. Stop Fine. it! You don't know Here what you you're doing! Huh. There it is. <gasps> You've done it now. He's... He's coming back. He's coming back. The notes were correct. The instrument was not. One needs both to get his attention. But if you know how to sing to him... He will take you where you need to go. Who are you? We are where we are needed. And needed where we are. So Comstock uses these songs. Are there others we can use? Something to keep the bird off our back? Perhaps you should ask the maestro himself. So where is he? Of course. Well, at least they left the piano. Booker. That's Comstock House. If we're gonna find him, we should start there. The box are coming! We need to leave the dock! 
Where are these people going? Where the Vox Populi ain't. Close your eyes! And jump! You can do it! Come on, you can do it! Just jump! Jump! Honey, I can't do it! I cannot do it! I'm sorry! You need to remove your belongings or we can't take any more people! The barge is at full weight! We're taking off now! What do you got, rich boy, huh? You can take it all. What's this, a monocle? What am I gonna do with that? some money. What, what are you doing? Now. Okay. Better keep it pen. I've got ammo. Yeah. Here you go. Don't stop. I'll see what I can do. What is it about that song that brings in the bird? What is this? When I was younger, I used to be excited when I heard it. Excited? It was all I had. Many books. He was my friend. Friend? Until I grew up. And I hated him. Because he was my warden. He's just Comstock's pet, isn't he? Just like me. All done. Look at this. Fitzroy's no better than Comstock. Was she? Well, once people get their blood up, it ain't easy to settle it down again. This is on our hands, isn't it?
you unlock this? I can do that. Got it. Feel better already. Prophecy business. You don't think anyone can really see the future, do you? I, I saw something once when, when I first got here. A dream. It was New York, but larger than any New York I ever saw. It was burning. Hmm. None of the prophet's magic is rubbing off on you. Look at this one. Do you think he wanted any part of this? Did he? The false prophet will fall! Take a look at this lock. Seems easy enough. Ready. I just realized who those two are. They, well at least she, invented the technology that allows the city to float. Giant balloons. Quantum particles. Suspended in space-time at a fixed height. So, not giant balloons? But the thing is, my book said they disappeared several years ago. I told you they'd come. No, you didn't. Right. I was going to tell you they'd come. But you didn't. But I don't. Are you sure that's right? Something tells me they're not exactly what they appear. I was going to have told you they'd come? No. The subjunctive? That's not the subjunctive. I don't think this syntax has been invented yet. It would have had to have been. Had to have had been. That can't be right. They seem to want to help. They seem to be out of their minds. Odd, isn't it? What's odd? The fact that we sometimes... Finish each other's sentences? Exactly. It would be odder if we didn't. <laughs> How do you suppose they manage that? I'll get back to you after I figure out the floating city bit. Comstock House is up ahead. The seed of the Prophet shall set the throne. 
He was grooming me, wasn't he? Oh, suck. Yeah, I think so. Why lock me up? Well, I'm guessing you. <laughs> Thought they'd stay on top forever. <laughs> More money. Here you go. These are dire times, and I could ever so lose lot. your aid. I I hope no one has forgotten me uh, here. Uh, now back to the music. Fancy putting those lock-picking skills to work? Looks easy enough. All done. Come on, I can see you. Stop. When we next meet, it won't be to parley. See, I went out to that hall of heroes to scalp your false shepherd for you. Turns out, though, DeWitt speaks Sue. He helped me to swap words with this crippled child I've been uh, looking after. Now, after hearing how the kid has fared in your city, I'm thinking when we take your pill. I'll let him hold the knife. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
bitches! Your homes are out! Appreciate it. Need money? Okay, catch. Thanks. You want to take a look at this? Give me a second. Elizabeth! There you go! Ah, dips on the girl! I got ammo! Catch, fucker! You'll pray for death!
turnstiles are one way. Should we check out the bookstore before we leave? Help me out with this lock? Seems easy enough. Done. Stock failed to understand is that our contraption is a window not into prophecy but probability. But his money means a Lutess field could become the Lutess tear, a window between worlds, a window through which you and I might finally be together. snuck in while the Vox was shooting up the place and took my girl! Got her locked up in the salty oyster. His hidden closet. He keeps all his treasures. Just need to hit the button under the register to open it, but... to this? Catch! That'll do. These lock will pass through. We won't be able to return. <sighs> Can you open this? It's a simple dual dial lock. My book said most fools keep the combination no more than 20 feet away. Let's hope we find one of those fools. This might be it. Why are you so keen on lock picking and code breaking? If you put a person in a cage, they develop an interest in such things. I suppose so. And I won't be locked up again. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you promise me. I will stop him. No. That is an oath you cannot keep. But promise me that if it comes to it. You will not let him take me back. It won't come to that. All right.
Oh! 
perfect. me to do let's not discuss it no what did that thing do to you if he were to take me back that's death mr. DeWitt there's something so like it I cannot tell the difference and release to throw it back. Hold and release to create an explosive trap.
money? Here you go. See this? Tonight, the Prophet moved against his political enemies. He preaches mercy, but 40 souls lie tonight dead in unmarked graves. If a man was ever unworthy of grace, who would be my husband? But when I was beyond redemption, he offered it anyway. I deny forgiveness to to one who with love granted it to me. Help me out with this lock. Oh, this won't take long at all. There. Open. Let me have a look. All done. In front of all 
all the men. The sergeant looked at me and said, your family tree shelters a teepee or two, doesn't it, son? This lie, this calumny, it followed me all my life. From that day, no man truly called me comrade. It was only when I burnt the teepees with you the squaws what? inside. I keep thinking about that dream that you had. New York on fire. There's something about it. Hmm. Beyond that gate lies Comstock House. Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you. Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Lady Comstock. The dress. The thing has mistaken me for my mother. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. I think it can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. <laughs> Locked. Let me see. Got it. There's the graveyard where my mother's buried. Where are you going? Come on. What are we looking for? your mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without you? Elizabeth. It's her. How are you, Mother? 
locked up in there, huh? It's like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. your mother a ghost? She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of chair.
Much obliged. Is she alive or dead? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is who? The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She's both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. Look! Steps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Constant House. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. They're sarcastic. There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah, I noticed. No, you don't understand. She... she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just... I'm not so sure it was her. Look at those pennants. Seems like the Vox have chosen their favorite color. Seems about right.
found some money. Want it? Got a lock here. I can do that. What did you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection of... Um... I don't know. That's insanity. What proof would you have that Mr. Fink would hurt the Lutesses? The Lutesses told me. The Lutesses? When? Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Rupert! They've been dead these seven days. Is he going to come back from this? Maybe it shouldn't. Did you take a look at this lock? Come on, give me something challenging.
That one! There you go! She knows Money? Catch! Much obliged. Seem to go down to the vault. Want 
want to hold on to this? Here. Fifty percent. What's that? Fifty percent of everything people earn here goes right to Comstock as a tithe. I gotta get me a job in the profit business. Okay, look. There's a cipher written on the stationery. Hudson's Tailors. Maybe that's where the code book is. <laughs> Comstock. I think she's... I think she's a combination of herself and my feelings towards her. What do you mean? I'm just so angry at her and at my father. I think
think she's her, but she's also partly me.
Elizabeth. A little help? Looks easy enough. All done. Stock seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. A theory. Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. You are! That's my mother. I assure you, madam. My sexual interest in your dear prophet is non-existent. Madame Lutas. Furthermore, the man is quite sterile. It's a lie. Come here, you little bastard! I want her out of my house! Why would the twins send us to find three truths? Were, were the tears somehow related through a, a kind of quantum field, or were they... Elizabeth, they wanted you to understand her. Who? You mean... Comstock seems to believe the child is a result of some errant act of carnality between myself and her beloved prophet. I told the poor woman the truth, that the child was a product of our little contraption, but I think she found that less believable than her delusion. Anyone who knew the truth was better dead than alive. I'm not even his daughter. No, you are not. Elizabeth, listen to me. What you've been through, ain't nobody in the world deserves that. Walker. We are getting... This is not my mother. Neither are you. He killed you both. This is me. I know you hate me for not being your daughter. And I hated you for not being my mother. Make right! Bastard! I am his victim! My 
days of victimhood are done. We must forgive each other. Because there is one far worse than you or I. The prophet killed me because you wouldn't keep his secret. So, then why am I alive? Not, not in this world. Maybe this is you in another. A world where you never meet him. Or where I saved him. I don't know. Is that possible? Find out, child. Find out. Money? Catch, Mr. DeWitt. Bring us the girl, girl and, and wipe, wipe away, away the, the debt. debt. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. <laughs> <laughs> Turned it into Sodom. 
Why do we deserve salvation? The Lord gave Noah a fish in the form of a flood. But he was not so easy on me. He said, Prophet, I want you to train a nation of fishermen. I just want to see the girl. What were those? Doesn't matter. I just gotta get to the warden's office. Please. Please, what is this place? Just, just send me back to my tower. It's too late for that now, child. Your father gave you a lovely home, and you chose to destroy it. He's not my father! is a kind of leash. Yes, my father put it on me. But when the time came, neither did I remove it myself. What would happen if I took off the leash and I found I was as obedient as ever? minds are born festering with sin. Some are so blighted they will never find redemption. The mind must be pulled up from the roots. My children are without blame, without fault, Child, and without choice. Would you like to pray with me? For what me. is the value Please of will? Please just let me go. Are they going to kill you? I'm not sick! Your spirit is. All I ever wanted is to see you live up to your potential.
I'm Dr. Pettifog, Elizabeth. And I'll be taking care of you. Get away from me. Defiant, even after all this time. DeWitt just left you here. You need to give up on him, love. He will come. Specimen needs to be destroyed. We couldn't even hold her in that tower, and now the prophet. Destroy the lamb. His hair. If we modify the procedure, we could. It would be safer for everyone. It would seem an accident. is of a spiritual nature. What affliction is that? Hope. Your surgery is tomorrow, you know. You better eat. Oh, you still expect to wait to burst in and rescue you, don't you? It's been six months. Six months.
away the debt. But in the end, he is the one who will have to pay down all of our accounts, won't he? Where does his guilt start? And mine end? A man once promised me that he would free me of my chains. But in the end, he abandoned me to serve his own needs. But in some ways, I thank him. He showed me exactly how much faith our species deserves. God put his faith in men once too. Seems that we have something in common. Disappointment. I did not always love the prophet. In truth, I ran from his embrace. I even denied that I was his. I followed a man who seemed to be everything my father was not. That man was a false shepherd. And when the wolves came for me, he was nowhere to be found. the switch. What I've done cannot be undone. I cannot stop what I have put in motion. But perhaps I can keep it from ever starting. He was my first hope. Should be able to head downstairs and get to Elizabeth now. Stop! 
you ask what? When the delicious question is when. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. As you can see, Walker, the lunatics are running the asylum. They don't even listen to me anymore. All I can do is watch as what I set into motion slides into its terminal stage. It took all I had left in me just to bring you here. Uh, Elizabeth, I, I don't understand. I heard you screaming. I was, I was coming to get you. Are we... Here. Take my hand. of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. Say what you will about Comstock. He was a hell of a fortune teller. It wasn't the torture that broke me. It wasn't the indoctrination. It was time. Time rots everything, Booker. Even hope. I was coming. Songbird. He always stops you. Yes, but I would find a way. No. It's too late for me. I brought you here for your sake. Yours and hers. Here. What is this? It's for her. She'll know how to read it. What does it say? It's advice. Advice on what? How not to become me. I'm back. In 1912. Before she... There's still time. Elizabeth! You two men upstairs. If she gets her ornery, just hit her with the machines. Comstock! What are you doing to her? Let her be! Mesh of the lyrics. What's the expression? Day late to the dollar short. I gotta get in there. Maybe if I shut down those machines from upstairs. No! 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 <laughs> She is not your hey, daughter!
this. You ready? Just do it. Here. Help me with this. I think someone meant for you to have this. What is it? Just read it. Your dream of New York. It's me. I, I'm the one who... Uh. She's given us a way to get past Songbird. We're gonna find an airship and we'll leave Booker. Paris, Elizabeth. Remember, you wanted to go We're to... We're not leaving. We are going to find Comstock. Why? You saw what he turns me into. I will not allow that. And so what? You're going to kill him? <gasps> this is where you start moralizing, Booker. You forget. I know you. I'm not going to let you kill him. Really? Booker? What are you going to do to stop me? Not a damn thing. Because I'm going to do it for you. Now to find the Prophet. Comstock Zeppelin is outside. The Hand of the Prophet. When did you learn that? I've been here for a while. How long? Long enough. I hope Comstock got what he wanted from me. Because he is not going to have long to use it. Feel better already. The procedure should help immensely with the issues we've had with the girl. Once the device is implanted, any effort on her part to alter the state of things will emit a most painful electric shock. 
Pavlov made a dog salivate. We'll make this one weep. Done. Everything here is a cipher that I understand, except for this symbol. It's a... cage. Did she say anything about this? No. Some money. Okay, catch. Look, it's the hand of the prophet. Comstock's flagship. We've got to find a way on board. Stay here. I'll handle this. We're doing this together, or I'm doing it alone. Either way, I need to know the thing's been done. You struggle against prophecy, prophecy, like a stone loosed from a slate. How thrilling the launch, how breathtaking the apex, and how terrifying the descent as gravity drags you down into the inevitable. It's done. Sound. Look! Take cover! They must be duds. Those aren't duds. They're... Look around you, Elizabeth. I built all of this for you. You are my heir and my blood. And what has DeWitt ever done for you? That to one! Him, there. You are now what you always were. A means to an end. Thank <laughs> you. 
Take a look at this lock. On it. Got it. Locked. Really? That little old all yours. presented me with an ultimatum. If we do not send the girl back from where we brought her, he and I must part. Where he sees an empty page, I see King Lear. But he is my brother. So I shall play my part, knowing it shall all end in tears. to redeem the kind of things that we've done. Redeem? I don't see much use in that. Booker, are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Over there! It's Comstock's men. They're coming out to meet us. Ship on the left. Rockets, watch out! Look at that! It's the box They're coming to attack the flagship. <laughs>
Thanks. Look! There's skylines all over the surface of the flagship. They're covered with those motorized Patriot pods. Well, that must be where they're deployed from. I wouldn't go near those lines while those pods are in place. Comstock is at the top of the ship. Let's head up. Open it. Look at Jupiter's child, John. There's something about him that you just can't put your finger on. Soon you'll understand. Go ahead. You bet. The man I am. The skylines lead up to the next step. If we clear the line of those pods, we could use them to gain access to the upper decks. Okay, catch! This should clear up. I have seen the seeds of fire that will prepare the Sodom below for the coming of the Lord. But it will not be I who carries that banner of the that job falls to you, Elizabeth. That job falls to you. Follow me. On one side of our land stands the false shepherd, and the other, the, other. the remnants of the heretical Vox Populus. Which one of you men will not gladly go to his reward to see her safely to her destiny? Rejoice! Rejoice! Rejoice. Death has no station! Ammo, take it! Here you go! Perfect timing!
There's the launch panel. Let's get those pods off the lines. Elizabeth? Okay. Got it. Contraption shows us the girl is the flame that shall ignite the world. My brother says we must undo what we have done. But time is more an ocean than a river. Why try to bring in a tide that will only again go out? This won't take long at all. Hey, all done. Dropping so slowly. I don't know. The wind out. That's one quarter of the pods ejected. That's all. Thanks. Three quarters. Uh, sure is taking his time. Uh, Elizabeth! Yeah. Uh, Push him out of cover. Lines are clear. I may be the one who strikes you down, DeWitt, but you've always had a knack for self destruction. Who's to say you won't beat me to the punch? Let me take care of this on my own. No, I'm going with you. Wash away your enemies. 
hold to grab enemies, and release to reel them in for punishment. Go ahead. On it! Thanks. We can take that skyline to the Prophet's cabin. <laughs> Wipe your slate clean, false shepherd. But time will walk backwards before you find redemption. Some sins can't be forgiven. my tower. What's this? A siphon. I saw this there. I could hear you singing from above. And the machine came to life in response. And then in my mother's grave, there was a smaller one. They were draining me. M maybe that's why I can't... Can't what? When I was little, I used to be able not just to open tears, but I could create new ones. To anywhere I wanted to go. But in the tower... Yes, I'll be right with you. Stand back. I'm ending this. Booker, no. This is between me and him. You are walking into a trap. I need to do this. Come here, child. Oh, come on, I don't bite. My, oh my, how you have grown. Tell me, what am I? Look at you, child. You're hey, a mess. Hey, let go of her. Elizabeth, everything I've done, I've done to keep you safe. Safe from what? The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. But the archangel revealed something else. Beware, prophet. Beware the false shepherd Booker DeWitt, for he shall be as a wall between her and destiny. Why? DeWitt, I'm a fool. 
I've sent mighty armies to stop you. I've rained fire on you from above. I did all of that to keep you from her when all I needed was to tell her the truth. Ask him, child. Ask him what happened to your finger. Ask DeWitt. Let go of me. Ask him. Ask the false shepherd. Tell her. Tell her, false <laughs> shepherd. Tell her the... She's your daughter, you son of a bitch! And you abandoned her! Was it worth it? Huh? Did you get what you wanted? Booker. Tell me! Booker. Tell me! It is finished. <laughs> Nothing is finished! Booker. You lock her up for her whole life! Booker. You cut off her finger and you put it on me! Booker, <laughs> stop it! You killed him. What did he mean? Huh? You tell me, what did he mean about my finger? I don't know. Yeah, I... I just assumed you were born with it. I, I don't know. Your nose. It's bleeding. What? Elizabeth, I swear to you, I have no idea what he was talking about. You do. You just can't remember it. No. I'll prove it to you will destroy the siphon. The answer's behind one of your doors. You just have to open destroy it. Destroy the siphon? It's the entire tower, Booker. How are we gonna do that? I don't know. But I'll think of something on the way. is dying. The metastasis has aged him so quickly. Why does this Comstock decay, while a Comstock in another world remains fit? If genetics are destiny, what accounts for the difference? Perhaps exposure to the contraption? Hmm. It merits further study. When a soul is born again, what happens to the one left behind in the baptismal water? Is he simply gone? Or does he exist in some other world, alive, with sin intact? this open? Cage. Cage, what is that? No, what? What is she trying to tell us? Cage. Cage. This is... They say they knew what was best for us. They said they knew what was coming next. Booker! Did you see this coming, old man? Okay, we Did gotta you get see this coming? They, they mean to board us. You ain't gonna place your daughter on the clock. We're gonna place her in our grave. One last thing. Please. Well, go. Go. 
Go, go, go! Booker, he'll help us. We can use him against the Bob's fleet. He's got rockets. Booker, tell him where to go. There, the gunship. It's a monument island. Look at the barge. I'll reload. Hooker, catch. Oh, thanks. There's Tell me where to send him. It's an old man. Take out the gunship. Appreciate it. I can call Songbird and Book. Assembly, now! Rockets over there! Huh. <laughs> Ah! 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 Ah!
Got your blind. Here. What? What is it? Look, you can use the songbird to bring the whole damn thing down. Destroy the siphon. And that's what you want? It's the only way we'll find the truth. About my finger, Comstock, everything. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Where is he? It's okay. It's all right. I'm here. Just let go. There you go. There you go. Elizabeth, I'm sorry. What is this place? Elizabeth? It's a doorway. One of many. 
This way. What do you mean it's a doorway? Where are you going? Oh, come on. Yes, it's this way. What Comstock said about your finger. Is there an answer here? Do you... Down here. Over here, Booker. This is where we have to go. Why? What is going on? Elizabeth, what do you mean this is a doorway? I'll have to show you. Probably gonna regret this. City at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Ridiculous. of doors opening all at once my god they're beautiful what, the stars come on come on it's this way come on Are you going to open it? Oh, it's no good. Damn it. I thought once we were here, I, I could fully control it. I, I thought... What is that? It's a key. Where did it come from? It's always been there. I just... I just couldn't see it. Doors. They're doors. Doors to... To everywhere. All that's left is the choosing. What are all these lighthouses? Why are we... Who are... There are a million, million worlds. All different. All similar. Constants and variables. What? There's always a lighthouse. There's always a man. There's always a city. How do you know this? I can see them through the doors. You, me, Columbia, Songbird. But sometimes, something's different. We have the same... Constants and variables. Yes. Exactly. We swim in different oceans, but land on the same shore. It always starts with a lighthouse. I, I don't understand. We don't need to. It'll happen all the same. Why? Because it does. Because it has. Because it will. There are so many choices. They all lead us to the same place. Where it started. No one tells me where to go. Booker. We've already been. Right after Wounded Knee, I was looking for... Come on now, time's a-wasted. Why were you here? 
Are you ready to have your past erased? Are you ready to have your sins cleansed? Are you ready to be born again? Take my hand. No. No, I don't want to. You already did, didn't you? Are you ready to be born again? I am. Do you hate your sins? I do. Do you hate your wickedness? Yes. Do you want to clean the slate, leave behind all you were before, and be born again in the blood of the yes. Lamb? Jesus, wash this man clean. Wait. Father, make him Stop born it. again. Lord, S Stop it. What Stop. are you doing? Do Get off me! Get off! Son! You didn't go through with it. You think a dunk in the river's gonna change the things I've done? Let's get out of here. I mean, look, these doors of yours, they're, they're all tears, right? We'll open one up. Open one up to Paris. I want to be shut of all this. Not until we find Comstock. Comstock's dead! No. He was here. This way. What of my debts? Bring us the girl, and wipe away the debt. This is the man who hired me to find you. Really? Yes. The girl for the debt. Wait, wait, no, this is wrong. What is this? It was no... It was no baby. There was no baby, and if there was, I sure as hell wouldn't give it over to this guy. Booker, you don't leave this room until you do. Do it. Time is running short. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. Go ahead. No. You can wait as long as you want. Eventually, you'll give him what he wants. How do you know all this? I can see all the doors, and what's behind all the doors. And behind one of them, I see him. Comstock. What choice do I have? The debt's paid. Mr. Comstock washes you of all your sins. the girl and wipe away the debt. There was no baby. The deal was I go to Columbia to get you. Booker, he's leading. Oh. I remember what I remember. Now we've upset him. I don't expect this next bit will do much for his mood. Come on. What are we doing here? Comstock's dead. We can just go on with our lives. You don't need dead? to... Dead? You mean like Chen Lin? Like Lady Comstock? No. He is alive in a million, million worlds. It's not over because the Prophet is dead. It will only be over when he never even lived in the first place. Hey, the hey, the deal's off, you hear me? Unstable. The deal is off! It's Give her slain. back! Hurry. Give her back! Fine, are you mad? No, you will not hear Give her back, you son of a bitch! It's ready, go! No! No, no, Shut no! Shut down the machine! No! Shut it Anna. down! Shut down Anna. the machine! No, do it! Give me back my daughter! No! Anna. Anna. No. No. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anna, I'm sorry. She's gone, Booker. Anna 
just gone. You shared this room with your regret for almost 20 years. Until one day, a man came to you and offered you a chance at redemption. A chance for us to be together. I told you it was work. We already know it works. The question is, will he? You suppose he branded himself as some sort of penance? Sure. Don't see the point. What's done is done. What's done will be done. I suppose the brand is his hair shirt, as he is ours. Away the debt, use the girl. Wipe away the debt. See, he's girl. starting to put his story together. Wipe away the You're quite debt. fond of this theory of yours. He's manufacturing new memories from his old ones. Well, Wipe. the brain adapts. I should know. I lived it. Booker, wake up. Booker, wake up. This is where it started. I saw you. I saw you. To your credit, you did try to weasel out of the deal. This is all Comstock's fault. What if I went back? Killed him before he did any of this? Things get set in motion. How would one know how far back to go? That's the only way to do it. Go back to when he was born, and I'll smother the son of a bitch in his crib. Are you ready to what be born this? again? Why are we are back here? This isn't the same place, Booker. Of course it is. I remember. Wait. Are you ready to leave behind all You're that not... has gone before? Wipe the You're snake not... clean. Who are you? You chose to walk away, but in other oceans, you didn't. You took the baptism. You, you were born again as a different man. Stop. It all has to end. To have never started. Not just in this world, but in all of ours. Smother him in the crab. Smother, 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 smother. Before the choice is made. Before you are reborn. And what name will you take, my son? He's Zachary Comstock. He's Booker DeWitt. No. 